welcome back to the Barstool College Football Show. The 2022 season is officially here, guys. This is season five for most of us. Uh, Brandon, season four for you. But I will say, I wanted to start off just off the top, get this out of the way. What? Six for me. Yeah. Oh. New guy, Brandon. New guy, Brandon. It's been four years. That's not really new. So six, five, 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 four. But you're the king of the South this year. I wanted <laughs> I to make am. sure that that was yes. set off the top to let everybody yes. know how you're feeling. Thank you. Is he still the king of the South? Yes. Yeah. His as of face now? sucks, <laughs> but he is the king of the South. He just put on so much makeup. <laughs> I he pulled out the clown kit. <laughs> I didn't put like, on oh the makeup. Boy. She applied it for me, and I appreciate that. I've had a very stressful summer, but now it's college football season. It looked like a NASCAR pit crew that came out for his face. <laughs> no, it's not great. What are those? The mind. He yeah. Looks like a mime. Yeah, yeah. I don't look like a mime. Yeah. I just had a little touch up. It's fine. I, I'm all natural, just so everyone knows. That is Same. very true. So is Ev. So Brandon is now on the makeup train with me. Uh, I was hoping that this show started off with giving you praise, but what I've realized is no matter how much I praise you, Dan and Dave are always going to knock it's you down. It's about as good as we're going to get. Mm -hmm. Well, your face sucks. <laughs> yeah. It looked like it's my face, Dave. I can't do anything about my face. No, I know, but it sucks if that happens. So I, I was. A little bit worried that you have monkeypox, and I was like, oh. oh. So. I don't have monkeypox. I just, I've been, I had a stressful reaction. It's been a tough week, but we're fine. We're but, good. But, but you are the king of the South. I'm the now. king of the South. I got the crown right here. It doesn't Congratulations. Fit on my head. Thank Congratulations. you very much. It's well earned. That's well, you didn't really earn it. It was well, more than the, the other, other guy, guy. <laughs> just fell on his face. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, what are you guys looking forward to most with the show this season? I know we have a big announcement at the end of the show. but Our schedule, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the schedule. That you, you, I, you've never like released the entire schedule. Before, well, it's not me. We just we haven't, but it makes sense to let people because we we don't necessarily go where the best game is every week. We try to pick the best game within our parameters, which are where can we gamble with Barcelona Sportsbook, right? So right. that combo, we know our schedule, and might as well let people get fired up. And a lot of cool spots we haven't been to. Um, but to answer your question, Casey, yes, Dave, I am most excited. Uh, for Michigan, Ohio State again, and I feel That's like a lie. I feel like the disrespect. <laughs> That's a lie. It's almost as if what happened last uh, November didn't happen in the way that we mutilated that team, ran the ball down their throat, humiliated the entire state, punched them in the face, broke their nose, broke their eye socket, and now I see Ohio State everywhere in these polls, like top poll, top poll. So I'm looking forward to going and putting an explanation point, a stamp on that, and beating the fuck out of them again. Ev, I will let you have your word about that. It's, it's almost as if they caught lightning in a bottle for one year. It's almost as if, it, sure if it was a fluke. <laughs> no favors. Yeah. Why did we take his desk away? Right. I mean, this wasn't my call. <laughs> I mean, there's, I don't know. Like, I don't that's know. like a sick <laughs> joke, dude. I don't, I, don't know, I don't know if there that's is a, a good sick, angle. Oh, I don't know if there is a good angle for me, but here I am. <laughs> um, Who did that to me? Yet? I'm laughing because they're laughing. I, I did not, I had not seen you yet. Yeah, you just got yeah, that's so not fair. dirty. That's I'm not here fair. I am. Here I am. <laughs> this is it. This is me. That's not fair. Who did this? Who did this? They That's should be in jail. Yeah, it, it, uh, you can't I take the man's see. desk away. He needs I'm the desk. I'm back. Is, I mean, um, this is. Should I, should I put my feet up? I don't know what to do. I don't. This is. You need to sit behind. I should, I use, should I use the paper? Should I go double wide? Who? Who should did I put that? The, should I put the who barrel who in front of me? Man. Should I put the barrel in front of the barrel? Oh my God. I mean, <laughs> things change. What Some things never that change. Was, that, was, that, was that was unbelievable. And it's one of those things subconsciously I knew it. <laughs> I, I, I knew, I knew that. Was, I didn't see it with my own eyes yet, but I knew. You I knew. Saw that bad and then I you knew. To you and, and I saw, and then, and then, and then Dave audibly gasped. I <laughs> that was. It was. Oh that my was, god. And that I was, am so was sorry. Dumb. Ev, I am so sorry. What, we we'll entertain the people any way we can. I, okay, so I guess we're not going to talk about Ohio State. There's nothing else Ev, to let say. me just say this, because oh. you need a win right now. When we were at Saratoga and we were talking about the college football season coming up, Dave turned to me in a moment of pure honesty. He's like, I hope that game never comes. No, I, I don't know. Because he, he, he knows. I, I know what he really I thinks. He knows. There's this, knows. This, this, this tried to leave. I never said that. This bravado he's going to put on for that. I mean, he didn't, he didn't believe it last year. It's going to be I, I was I talking love, about God all of a sudden. No, see, all of a sudden. I, I, I mean, he's going to adopt the entire Michigan. If you have a kid in Michigan, he'll adopt it. So what the, you want your coach to do. The fact that he's just going Old Testament on everybody's asses is fantastic. 
Um, I will say, Dave, did you see what uh, was said on ESPN? I know we don't talk about College Game Day much, but did you see that they're gonna, they say that Michigan and A&M are going to be in the national title game? No, no, no. no, no. That was they no, they no, no, didn't they, say that. They, Desmond, the, the, yeah. the, we also had they, Pitt in there. De yes. yeah. But yeah. I, I feel like it, you know, somebody said it. Yeah. I am. I want to say this right now. I, 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 by the way, I, I think I have those two teams in my playoff. You have Texas A&M so, in the playoff? I, so I, I they say, have said it. And I think Brandon's going to agree with me. Mark me down right now. I do not buy the Texas A&M hi hype no, at all. Well, know. Brandon, at all. Brandon, not quarterback yet uh, at all. What you? He played five total quarters. We'll get to A&M. We don't have to do I this. Don't buy it at Brandon all. has. I'm Brandon, buying. I, thank you, Dave. I'm also buying, but. Uh, I just I do like that Ohio State is all of a sudden back on top. I'm with you, Dave. I think Michigan should be it's getting crazy. a little bit of. It's crazy. Uh, we we didn't beat them. We embarrassed them. But you yeah. lost. But it's year to year. You lost so much. You lost the whole defense. Yeah, but we're Michigan. They got two quarterbacks. Yeah, you guys usually stink. Yeah. Well, no. Uh, we didn't last year, buddy. As I say, you caught lightning in a bottle. Congrats. Yeah, blah, that, what, you brought lightning you in the bottle is not running up the middle for eight yards per carry. It is when it happens for one season. Yeah. Right. Well, we went. It's a beginning of another. And then you embarrass the conference. There's, anybody who knows their history about this rivalry knows it flips. You go in like ten straight, ten straight, ten straight. You're about to get whooped for ten straight. By the way, shout out. Bro, this yes. Fire. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We're all. We're, we have wardrobe this year. Season yeah. five. We're I now need, in wardrobe. I need them to do a Badger Swan. It, yeah. Do yes. they? All, they have to. Do they only Can someone do, do that, please? That, why am I? This yeah. is great. It does. It looks oh, very good. The actual state of Michigan. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. I want that. Nice Michigan colors. Yeah. It's way over there. Yeah. yeah. Well, and some things never change, so yeah. <laughs> we just started making fun of each other it right stinks. off the top. Well. Well. Right. You, I mean, the Big F thing, we didn't make fun of Big F. Why did I make fun of Big F? I know. I know. I, in my, in my I, defense. I, I, big F, you have the right to punch him in the face. <laughs> I just walk no, I him. actually, <laughs> Big F, I will walk with you up to HR after this. <laughs> I should have right. tried the hoodie, man. <laughs> That's how you start a season. So let's go into the high noon weekend preview. I cannot drink high noon this year, but you guys can. You got Dave. Why? So it's <laughs> frowned upon in these parts. It's frowned okay. upon the, when you're when you're with child. Okay. But you guys can. You have the cranberry in front of you, Dan. Brandon, you have the pear. It's a new tailgate pack, cranberry and a pear, which I haven't tried yet. Cranberry the pear is, is delicious. Yes. The perfect fall drink, too. Uh, yeah, nice I, crisp I'm fall day. To, I'm going to try them and yeah. redo my rankings after the show. So, again, thanks to High Noon, they're going to sponsor the weekend previews, as always. So, we're going to start with the fifth most important game of the week, number seven, Utah at Florida. So, they are going to the swamp right now. Florida on the Barcelona Sportsbook is favored by two and a half, the total at 51 and a half. Brandon, I'm going to start with you because we've talked a lot about Utah, Cam Rising, obviously a very good quarterback, and then Florida completely switching everything up, bringing in Billy Napier after Dan Mullen. You're a Dan Mullen guy. Right. What are you feeling about this game? So, first of all, it's a hell of an opening week if this is the fifth best game of the week because this is an yeah. incredible game. I love Utah. I love everything about the team. The spot screams Florida. Florida with a new quarterback that they're excited about. Florida with a new coach. Florida with the swamp. Florida with the humidity. Florida with everything. I look at it, I think it's going to be points, 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 but it, it just screams that Florida is about to open their new season with a new coach with a win over Utah. And I don't understand why I think that. I just, I love Utah. I think Florida's the better team in this spot. Dan? I, I agree with Brandon. Uh, Utah early, too. Like, they, they've stumbled out of the gate a couple of years. Didn't they lose to Fresno or something? They a few lost years to San Diego State. Ago? San Diego year. State. So, uh, by Utah later on in the season. I like Florida, but what Brandon just said, points, 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 I'm just going to take the over. I didn't even think about the over. I'm going to take the over. I points, the points, points. Yesterday. Yeah, yeah, a night game the in over. the swamp, too. They'll be, they'll be hyped. Dave, yeah. what do you think? Yeah, first, I didn't know that the Florida Stadium was called Ben Hill Griffin Stadium. Yep. That's a new one to me. Has that always been the name of it? Yeah, it's always been the Just name. The they call it the Swamp. Well, yeah. I'm aware of that. Well, yep, yeah, that's the name. Yeah. Um, I think if it, off the top of my head, if I did like top 10 differential teams, home and away, Utah is probably on that list. I think they are an entirely different football team on the road versus home. They play in that smoky stadium that they just, I think, pipe it in. I, uh, I like Florida here at home. I, I just, you can't go against Florida to me in the swamp. It's a huge advantage. And I don't care how good people think Utah is. Player for player, Utah has to have, I mean, Florida has to have more talent. Yeah, I mean, I, Utah. I refuse to believe they don't. Utah being ranked in the top, in the top 10, it feels overrated. However, and I, I want y'all's opinion on Billy Napier because we know that he was good at Louisiana and, and now he's making the leap to Florida. I was reading something that he's so anal that like they have to have matching socks at practice. He said that everything has to be planned, plotted, perfected, and everything down to like the second of game day. That to me feels like that could work at Louisiana, not necessarily at Florida. Have you seen their team picture? 
Yes. They have an entire team of assistant coach. He hired the most assistant coaches in the country. He has like 60 assistant coaches. Like it feels like to me he's overthinking this, which I'm not saying they're going mean, to be bad This is the way he season. coaches. That's fine. But, but it's like. I, I also like the, the whenever a new guy comes in and he changes, he's got to change the culture. No more kissing Dan Mullen's wife. Like, let's fucking <laughs> get it set. Let's win some games. I like that. It would be crazy if Dan Mullen's wife still showed up. Yeah. To get she, her might. Kisses. she might. She uh, might. I'm going to go against you guys. I'm going to take Utah. Uh, minus two and a half. I think they're going to win the game. I don't think Florida is going to be near as bad as they have been in the last couple of years. And I know that the, Dan Mullen off the field had some issues, but I do think that Florida in the new era, they, they're going to drop this one. It's a ranked matchup. It's understandable. They are, they do, by the way, they'll have the longest active home opener winning streak in the country. Brandon, do you know who they last lost to in 1989? 1989? Mm hmm I would say Southern Miss, maybe. No, I do. Oh Miss. Miss. Okay, fantastic. Great question, yeah. Casey. Way to fucking go. I do like the quarterback <laughs> at Utah a lot, by the way. Cam Rising, yeah. Yeah, he's they great. Were, they were getting beat, and then they switched to him last year. They averaged 39 points a game and, and were fantastic under he's him very, later. Very, very good. But Florida's quarterback might be outstanding, too. He's now getting a shot, Anthony yeah. Richardson. Yeah, because yeah. he and he, he had good playing time last year, too. So I'm, But I am going to take Utah on this one. We'll see what happens with Florida. Let's go to the, the Sunday night game. So week one is always great because it gives us game Thursday night to Monday night. So the Sunday night primetime game will be number four. That's well, not, no. No, no. Number four on number our Number four, playlist. yes, yep. yes, yes. Uh, Florida State at LSU, uh, so it's an, another night game at Tiger Stadium. LSU favored by three and a half. Well, it's, it's, this game's in New Orleans. Yes. Excuse me. Sunday night. In well, New Orleans. Yeah, it's all right. You're yes, reading the you sheet. The sheet says Tiger Stadium. That's okay. Well, you know what? I'm going to do this all season. That's fine. Pregnancy brain. I'm just going to use well, that. Well, no, anyway. it says Tiger Stadium. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's incorrect. It's in New Orleans. It wasn't yours. It's at the, the Superdome. The sheet is incorrect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for having my back there. So Florida Maybe State. Maybe get the sheet correct and don't worry about making Big Ev look really fat. Mm -hmm. I like that everyone just looked at Blattman off the side as he's standing. That there. was well, Blattman's getting all the blame. In two decades, <laughs> one of the dirtiest things I've seen done at this game. <laughs> okay, so. But I want to save those stills forever. <laughs> <laughs> so in New Orleans, Florida State, LSU, LSU favored by three and a half. The total at 51 and a half. We all know what happened with LSU over the offseason. Brian Kelly's there. He all of a sudden has a southern accent, which is like the fakest thing of all time. Florida State played in week zero. They played Duquesne. They killed them. It doesn't even matter, 47 to 7. The bigger story, Dan, is Brian Kelly leaving Notre Dame, going to LSU. Uh, I think that it's clownish the way he's acting, but maybe it's going to work. I just, it, it sucks because I liked rooting for LSU. They're a fun school to root for. They're like, their fan base is so awesome, so passionate, and Brian Kelly has sucked all the joy. Like, because I'm obviously not, I'm not an LSU fan, but it was one of those teams like, hey, I like LSU when they're good. He sucked it out of all the joy out for me. I can't root for LSU in any way anymore. I'm going to take the over in this game, but yeah, LSU just feels different. It feels, feels corporate now that Brian Kelly's there. Wouldn't you say? Yeah, it feels forced. Right. Definitely. Forced on But like, yeah. like, like, Les Miles. Right. It's like crazy when Charles dude. Minor came to the office. Right. It's just like, come on. Yeah. I don't know. It, Brian Kelly's weird, but LSU's super talented, and Florida State's been down. I know Mike Norvell's not a good coach. I don't know what Brian Kelly's going to do at LSU. I know Mike Norvell hasn't really been getting it done at Florida State, but they also played in week zero. So, mm -hmm. how, much of, how much of an advantage is that? Give me the over as well. I don't trust either of these two teams with this line. I do think there's going to be points here. I think there's going to be points in, in both these first two games, but I like the over 51 and a half as well. Dave? Yeah, I, I'm on the over uh, as well. And I, if, if I, you know what, I'm going to take LSU, uh, double pick. I'll take LSU in the over just because it is at LSU, it is at night, and Florida State stinks. They do stink. And they've stunk for a while. But, but LSU has stunk. They might stink too. I, which is I crazy that they, you know. Florida State's week zero game mm -hmm. isn't meaningless because they lost to Jacksonville State last year. Right. So, like, the fact that they were competent enough to beat a team they should kill, maybe yeah. it's going in the right direction. It's also not meaningless in the fact that they did get to go out and play. And yeah. LSU is about to hit the field for the first time. I, 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 that, I don't. You don't think there's any advantage to that? Not really. Not playing Duquesne, no. Even if their like, team's been terrible, I mean, Florida State's been really bad. They needed to get a yeah, no, confidence I, I, booster. I, I almost weirdly think it can work against you in a weird way. Like, oh, we're good when you play Duquesne, who's not are they Division One. I? I don't even. I don't think so. They're not FCS. They're FCS. FCS. Yeah. So I mean, LSU, I'm sure, can put together a far better inter-squad scrimmage and in, you know sure. game yeah. than what Duquesne put up. I do think that Florida State is going to be better. I just I I don't want to like LSU with Brian Kelly because you guys are right. I think that he's just made it so unlikable and just everything that he's done is so forced. I mean, just I think clearly LSU is going to have 
the better roster. Do we, th- do we think he's though a great coach because he's been great everywhere he's been? Yes, yes. I so do think he's a great. That's a dangerous combo. Yeah. Do you think he's going to have immediate success the way he did at Notre Dame though? Like the last few seasons. Yeah, I think he's going to have a lot of success. Quickly. Yeah. Well, it's it's hard to judge because success at LSU is a national right. title. That, but I That's don't know if problem. he has the horses LSU is used to having. Like they got one elite guy, Keishon Boutte, the receiver. They usually have like six to eight elite guys. And their secondary is. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I choked a little bit. Their, um, their secondary I'm is terrible. Still thinking about your face. And uh, my <laughs> my issue one. is it, it, with defining success. Notre Dame is a lot easy to have ten wins because they schedule the little sisters of the poor through the way. LSU, I mean. What is successful this year for him in the SEC? Eight and four? Yes. Yeah, I was going to say so nine I think, wins. I, I, yeah. I think eight and four he'll get. Yeah. Um, I'm also going to take the over, and I really wanted to take Florida State, but I can't talk myself into it, so I'm going to take uh, LSU as well. I just I, I want Florida State to be better, but then again, I also, and Dave, I know we talked about this a million times on multiple shows last year, I kind of want Florida State to be bad again just so the Dion rumors can come back. I don't think he'll ever go there. I don't there. think he'll ever go there, no. but you know his name will, yeah. be, will be popping up. And after them burning his jerseys and everything in the offseason, that was crazy. Uh, let's go to the third game we're going to talk about. It's number 23, Cincinnati. At number 19, Arkansas. Now, Cincinnati obviously coming off of a college football playoff berth. They're favored by six and a half, the total at 51. No, Arkansas is favored, aren't they? Yeah, Arkansas is. Arkansas is favored. Again, I'm she she who, who got wrote, you. Who wrote the sheet? Blackman. Oh, wow. Yeah. Any, okay. No, you get, no, you get blamed, Blackman. Yeah, if you got right. the credit for Big Ev, you get the blame for this. Okay, mm-hmm. so number 23, Cincinnati. At number 19, Arkansas. Arkansas favored by six and a half, the total at 51 and a half. So Cincinnati coming off the college football playoff, obviously they did not play well last year. There's very few panels that do college football that would pick up on missed spreads instantly. Oh yeah, you know, oh I yeah. I don't think any other panel oh, would yeah. have any clue. Mm-hmm. Right? Because Cincinnati coming off their season, be like, oh yeah, no, no, no. Hammer way. Arkansas yeah, right. six plus six and a half. Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, know what you're drinking. So Cincinnati, I mean, they lose Desmond Ritter. It's going to be interesting. But the bigger storyline here, and Dave, I'll start with you because I know what's going to happen on the other side of this desk when we start talking about Arkansas. Arkansas goes nine and four last year, eight and four. No, it's a. I agree with you. So I'm one. I'm letting you just. Okay, it's okay. Right, it's not so. always a bad thing. Arkansas thinks that they they their fan base acts as if they won a national title last year because they finally had a winning season. They love Sam Pittman. They love KJ Jefferson. They still only won eight games in the regular season. Do you think that they can take the next step to actually be a good team? Or are they going to Well, that's wildly disrespectful. They were a good team. But they were a good team last year. They were a good team. Are you saying like, like compete for an SEC championship? Yes, because they think they are. They, because Eventually, of yes, they will. This season. Uh, I don't this know about this season, but I think they're very good. And, and I think they're going to beat the piss out of Cincinnati here. Um, I like the coach. And I, I almost feel like what you said was – a shot at oh, it is. Arkansas. It is. Yeah, I disagree. They have every right. They've been bad for so long. The guys got the program going the right direction. They hadn't won an SEC game in in forever a couple of years ago, right? Mm-hmm. And now you got eight. So it, if you can't be excited now as an Arkansas fan, then you don't like football. I, they should I don't, be thrilled. I don't think that there, there's a difference to me in being excited and being delusional. And I, I think from an unnecessary roughness standpoint, we're, we just hate Arkansas fans right now because they're just assholes. They've been roughing her up on Twitter. And you. And me. Well, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. No, but I'm just up. saying, like, there's a difference. Like, they have every reason to be excited. However, to act like they were the best team in the SEC last year was crazy. But Are I'm they also. Are literally acting like that? Because they, I, that. No. They hate AM. That's really okay. what this this boils right. down there to. They is. fucking hate AM. <laughs> okay. Uh, but I, I do think Arkansas fans are are a little bit delusional going into the season. However, Cincinnati is going to be down. So, Dan, do you think that, I mean, Cincinnati obviously is uh, not going to make it back. That was to a very playoff, biased yeah. rant yeah. against no. Arkansas. You just got to say that they've been mean to you because they don't like Texas AM. Yeah. Well, they also, when you get in the mix with, with Arkansas fans, they do act like Sam Pittman is well, the next coming of Jesus Arkansas, Christ. Arkansas. Why wouldn't they right yeah, now? Yeah, and Arkansas football and basketball, like, you want to list the schools that NIL is going to benefit, they're at the top of the list. They're just going to, their money? Walmart money is going to be just flowing in. They're going to be a good team in both both sports for a long time to come. I'm taking them here. It's minus six. I looked right before. Uh, I'm taking them minus six. Yep. And I just, I think it's going to be similar to the Alabama-Cincy game. Obviously, Alabama way better than Arkansas, but there were times in that game where it's like, Oh, they can just rip off 20-yard runs because they're bigger and faster and more athletic than Cincy. Cincy's a great program. Luke Fickle's an unbelievable coach. Jimmy's and Joe's. 
I love Arkansas in this game. I don't like them in this season. I think they're going to go seven and five. They're going to take a small step back because the SEC West is brutal this year. Uh, and Traylon Burks going to the NFL is going to hurt them tremendously. But this game, I love them because they can line up and just run it down Cincy's throat. Cincy retooling on defense, and they still have a name to start in quarterback. Right. This is going to be maybe one of the most raucous atmospheres in the country this, this Saturday. They're going to be nuts. So I think Arkansas is winning this game. I don't love them for the season. I love them for this game. How do you feel about Sam Pittman, though? We do need to establish that on this show. Well, he just... blocked me on Twitter, and it, <laughs> I've never gotten over it. And he's, you know, I don't like him personally, but he is a good coach. He's beaten Mississippi State twice in a row. And until I, until I get the win back, I can't really say I mean, what you guys are realizing it, that it's it, very biased. Well, we got to just, we're, yes. Dave and I are unbiased when it comes to the SEC. We got to rip off these, like, we're, you guys are just talking in codes. You don't <laughs> like Arkansas. He blocked me. He beat yeah. us. He's, let me say this. They won games, and you guys top, are mad. Top of the list. Well, one game in the last who, who decade. Has, yeah. Who has the yeah. best coaching job in the country in the last two years? Him, right? I think Lane Kiffin beats him, and I hate I hate that. Lane Kiffin went 10-2 and two last year. They both came into shitty situations. I, I think Lane Kiffin beats him a little bit. All right, that's fair. But, I mean, and, I think he's an argument. And Fickle as well. No, Fickle's yeah, been incredible. No. He went to the yeah, playoff at every Cincinnati. award last yeah, year. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he's not in the SEC. Pittman's top five. You, you have team. Like, he took uh, – how long? Uh, Mark Stoops. Kentucky. Yeah, that's good, but still not as – like, Arkansas – Stoops has been a graduate. Ar- Ar- yeah, right. I know. Arkansas, when Pittman arrived, how long had they not won in – It had been two two or three years. So yeah, they, yeah. they were discussing. No, he's, yes. a, he's a very good coach. I just – It's uh, just we're, – we're biased. We can say exactly. that. Exactly. And I have the Hogs back. I've been on – I've been a Pittman guy forever. I've been an Arkansas And guy. you also, Call Brandon, you – I think your problem is you don't like – uh, college coaches that you think you're smarter than, what you don't realize is college coaches don't have to be geniuses. If they can get guys amped up and they can hire smart people around them, Coach O. I never Coach thought about O's that. not a genius. Is that why I don't like college I think it coaches? is. I think you're like, that guy's dumb. It's like, well, guess what? Sometimes dumb college coaches are very successful. I'm trying to think of all the guys I don't like. And yeah, They're they dumb. are all dumb. Yes, right. But that's if you can get guys to run through a brick wall, 18-year-olds to run through a brick wall, that's sometimes all it takes. So what we've learned is that I'm biased because I don't like people talking shit about my school, and you just don't like people that you think you're smarter than. And by the way, Sam Pittman is far smarter than Brandon Walker. I don't know about that. Far, far smarter. He has had him on the podcast. He would know. Yeah. Smart guy, sharp guy. Sharp guy. Okay. Sharp guy. <laughs> if you're, if you are an Arkansas fan, you should be. No, they should be excited. Right That's now. why I think this this stadium on Saturday is going to be nuts. I, with all my bias around, I'm still going to take Arkansas as well. I like. Well, since, what's all that for? Well, because I wanted to make sure that I, I'm going to take it from a gambling perspective. I just don't like Arkansas. That's, that's fine. That's that's the way I feel. Yeah, you guys just need to say who you don't like. Yeah, right. It's totally Arkansas, fine to say. I don't say. like Arkansas. Brandon doesn't like San Pedro. Big Ab doesn't like Michigan because we pounded the fuck out. <laughs> 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 Good. We'll see. We'll see who's laughing November. We'll see. Uh, well, it's gonna just be a season-long thing. Table, Big Ep, he's so scared of this game. He's petrified. So scared. <laughs> I know he is. All right, let's get to the next game. Number 11, Oregon, playing number three, Georgia, the defending national champions. Very clearly, Oregon rebuilding as well with Dan Lanning. Georgia right now favored 16 and a half. The total at 53 and a half. This game is so interesting from, like, I mean, we know that Oregon is starting over without Mario Cristobal. Dan Lanning had been at Georgia. Dan, I'll start with you with this. Like, what, this game, obviously, people are looking at Georgia. Coming off a national title, Setson Bennett, the whole thing. But when you look at Oregon and what they're bringing in, like, what does Oregon have to lose in this game? Like, yeah, they, I mean, obviously, they don't have a lot to lose. Although, this has been, you know, Cristobal leaving. I think this is one of those games where it's weird how it works in college. A coach leaves. And it's clear that he was building up his program for this game, and then he's gone. Right. Um, I, I, I just can't trust Bo Nix. And I'll take the over, but I don't like this. I don't like this game. I like, I'm going to enjoy watching it. There's a chance Georgia's defense just smushes them again, but I'm going to take the over. Do you think that Bo Nix, though, having any in Brandon all in your Well, this is the year for Bo Nix. Right. This is, do you think him playing in the SEC prior to this has, will help this game No, because I think he ran off to the West Coast to get away from the Georgia. No, but it, it helps a little. Maybe a little. A little he's, not be, he's not going to be. He's not going to be shocked when right. he gets to that dunk. Right. I, I don't see how you're not terrified of the over based on. Remember that opener with Clemson and Georgia last year? That 10, yeah, no, I just I said well, I don't Clemson, like the game. Clemson ended up being like one of the worst <laughs> offensive teams of the. Country. That's a no, fact. That's, that's right, but I, I don't know. The Oregon's going to be all that much better. I like, don't like the game, but we have to pick the games, and I'm going to gamble on the game all because right. it's football. Well, let season. me let, let me pick the game, <laughs> Georgia. When Oregon lost last year, it's because they got beat up. They played Utah twice, and physically they couldn't match up. They were just getting hammered at the line of scrimmage. And Georgia is the, maybe the biggest bully in the country. 
Georgia's going to bully this team. They're going to beat, beat up this team. They're going to out-physical this team. All they're, right, I'll switch my pick. I'll take gonna, Georgia with you. They're going to win by three or four touchdowns. Half. Cancel my over. Georgia You're right. It could be Georgia 42 to 10. I mean, they're going to pound on them. Oh, that would be the over, though, wouldn't it? Well, and, and it would be. It yeah, would be. Yes, it definitely no, it would be. be the over. 42 no. to 10 is 53 and a half. All right, okay, good. Yeah. All right. The number might change. As of right now, when we're recording, it is not. So, Dave, what are you, what are you thinking? Well, I'd be lying if I said I knew at 9 o'clock this morning that Bo Nix was the quarterback of Oregon. I've dropped some knowledge bombs it's, on Dave today. This is just one of those yeah. things that, that, Well, he hasn't you know, been named yet. It might be the other guy. Well, I didn't even know he was on that team. Okay, all right. Yeah, like, well, I'm, but, I'm, you know, I've, I've been getting my tan on and enjoying the summer, not following the transfer portal. He's been very transparent. Dave's like, I'm, I'm a sponge. Just give me the information. Did you know Dan Lanning was there? Uh, I don't even know who Dan Lanning yeah, really is. Well, okay, I okay, found okay, that okay, out okay, earlier. Okay, so, the so, so, coordinator so from Georgia is now, no. I got it earlier today. I will say, I wish I didn't know who the quarterback at Oregon was. That's how much I think Bonix thinks. I'd rather just be like, oh, they got a guy they're recruiting who's healthy rather than uh, this retread guy. I'm going to take the points, but I don't like the game. Yeah, and I mean, you're right, Brandon. They haven't said that Bo Nix is the guy, but Kirby Smart came out earlier this week and was like, no, we all know who the guy is. Like, let's not play games here. Oh, Kirby this Smart's is the year. kind of full of shit sometimes, too. But, I mean, we all you, know. You, you don't go to the transfer business. portal and you don't win the job, that's embarrassing. Yeah. Oh, that happened it's, to the A&M, it happened yeah. at Auburn, it's happened, like, yeah. several times this year. It's embarrassing. It is embarrassing. I think that, like, you know, my starting with Dan, it's like, what does Oregon have to lose? Even if they lose by a billion, I mean, it's still a new era. I think Georgia's going to kill them as well. I think Oregon is, is not going to be... I mean, 11th in the country seems high for them, but hey, good for them with Dan Lanning. I don't like Bo Nix either, but I guess we will see. I think Georgia is... Bo Nix wasn't that bad last year. No, Before he, he got hurt, he was not that bad. But again, I, you know, it started it's off... And it's the legend of Bo Nix. Too short or just should a bad man? It's too it's good of an name. Should be okay. better. Correct. Yes. Oh, right. I see. And Auburn right. fans just named it's him. It's a waste of a great name. Yeah. That's what the problem is. That happens in sports Bo where you're like, Auburn, I guess this guy, Jackson yeah, this guy's Nicks. name. Like you heard it's, about him forever. Their other quarterback is, is named Ty Thompson, which is not a bad quarterback. So it's Bow Tie. Yeah. Oh, it well, is Bow wow. Tie. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. All right, let's get to the game time game of the week score. Last minute tickets to the this week's game time game of the week or any sport, concert, or show with the game time app. Create an account and redeem code football for $20 off your first order. So this is the big game of the week. We will be streaming. Some of us will be streaming this tonight when this airs. So number five, Notre Dame. At number two, Ohio State. Ev, I'm going to start with you. So Ohio State favored 17 and a half, the total at 59 and a half. We talked about it off the top of the show. I, I can't yeah. deal with these names. What? Safe Light Field? Yes. Uh, when did it become Safe Light Field? <laughs> I was going to ask that question. Ohio Stadium? How long has it been Safe Light Field? Like, never. no one's ever really, like, just happened. Ooh, I think this, yes. but we go, it's Ohio Stadium. I mean, can it's. Can I request that we, unless Safe Light is paying us, can we just name it? What the entire world is called the horseshoe? Yeah. It's, it's still Ohio State. Yeah. It's, so it's the first time we're ever going to sponsor on the turf itself, on the field. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's at, at the, the horseshoe. horseshoe. So it's at the horseshoe, yes. Yeah. So Ev, Ohio State, back at that number two spot. Uh, Notre Dame starting over with Marcus Freeman in that era. I mean, it's not completely starting over, but still a new coach without Brian Kelly. What are you thinking about your Buckeyes? I mean, no, I feel good. I mean, I'd be lying if I didn't say I had a little PTSD from the Oregon game last year, but it's, all, <laughs> it's, all, it's, a, diff it's a different game. No, I mean, why would it? No, that was a fluke. The Oregon game was kind of a fluke, too, but C.J. Stroud was his second start. How many flukes do you get in a season? Two. It was two. Right. Well, that was lightning. I'll say the, the Oregon was a fluke. That was lightning in a bottle. That won't happen again. But, no, I feel good about it. I mean, I also like that the number's been going up and up and up, but apparently the public money's in Notre Dame. I mean, I think we should be able to do what we want on offense. I mean, really, uh, for us, everyone knows the X factor is the defense. We hired Jim Knowles. I do think they're going to be a lot better. We have a lot of talent up front that's coming in sophomore, junior year that I think is going to be a big difference for us. So, I mean, I like, I like Ohio State. Obviously, I do think we can cover. I think we're going to cover. I um, I don't know the set off the top of my head the number, but I know that these in these like top uh, top ten matchups where there's like big spreads like this, the favorite covers more, way more times than not at a high clip. So I do like Ohio State. I think we're going to score a lot. I like the over as well because I do like Notre Dame's quarterback. I like Buchner. So I, it's the first game with the new defense. So I do think they're going to score a little bit. But I like Ohio State. And I like the over. Brandon, we've talked about this a lot too in the offseason. Everybody, I mean, Ohio State had the best, I mean, one of, if not the best offense in the country last year. They're all coming back with Travion Henderson, CJ Stroud, Jackson Smith, and Jigba. So you look at the defense, and then you look at what Notre Dame is coming back with, too, as well. Do you, right. do you think that Ohio State's defense is going to be that much better in week one? 
Yeah, I do. I, I think Jim Knowles is an outstanding defensive coordinator. He was at Oklahoma State with zero first-round picks and turned out a top-five defense. Now he's got five stars and four stars all across the defense. Uh, if you were in week one against Alabama, maybe not. But you're against a new quarterback, a new coach, a new running back at Notre Dame. They're talented. they got a great tight end and a good defense. But this is one of the top two teams in the country, Alabama or Ohio State. That's one and two, and then there's a big gap. And nobody's walking into Columbus this weekend and keeping this one in 17 and a half, including Notre Dame. Ohio State rolls. Dan? I'm taking the over in this game. I, I think Ohio State's offense is going to be electric, and I also trust my guy Tommy Reese, the OC for Notre Dame, so I think it's going to be points. I, I, Notre Dame can't – Ohio State's going to be up quick, and then they're going to – the game is going to kind of avalanche from there, where Notre Dame has to try to score to answer, and it's just – it's going to be a shootout. And with Notre Dame, too, I mean, they are the, the number five team in the country. Do you think that's as overrated as, as – I mean, I know I do. Do you think that they're overrated at number five? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. It's, I, know, it's, I think at five they're overrated, but if they were like eight to ten, that's yeah. fine. But yeah, but no, five, they're not. Yeah, right. Losing Brian they're not Kelly. bad. They're yeah. just not five. Yeah. All right, Dave. Yeah. I, again, I, I. It's a big spread. I don't know. I, I find it repulsive that Ohio State is the number two team in the country, and I guess it's just one of those things. Whatever. Preseason polls. I don't think. I don't think you should rank teams till like week three or something. I think it's unfair to do that. But having said that, a team that we all saw got emasculated, dominated, punished, um, can't stop the run. There was nothing fancy about it. They got punched in the mouth and they fucking fell apart like pussies. That's what happened, all right? I don't like using that word. That's to what Michigan when they played so, Georgia, right? That was I, what I'm happened? Speaking <laughs> of, I like I like Notre Dame. I think I think Michigan exposed um, Ohio State for good. Okay. That's I, I love that it's week one. We're still technically in August when we're filming this and this is already the, the shit talk's heating up. I don't know. He has nothing to say. He has to wait. He ate his humble. I waited. When they beat us, I waited. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he'll just have to wait till November. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to go with the over as well. Uh, I'm not going to take a team. But I, I think that both offenses are going to be able to score. I think Ohio State's going to try to prove right off the top why they're that number two spot. And they're just going to score a million points. So I'm It is all serious and ridiculous. They should not have rankings till like week three. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Because it penalizes teams that... Yeah. I like they just do it for ratings. That we're going to be doing a top ten in yes. just a minute. Well, yeah, we but have yeah, to. it's a you guess. Have to. Yeah. It's with, a the, guess. with the playoff rankings, it technically doesn't. Yeah. Like these are just talking points. In yeah. Theory. No, they're for TV. So you turn on the TV and you're like, oh, no. Because when does the playoffs start ranking? Early November is it or like middle late, mid late October? Mid late early October. Doesn't matter. These matter. But no. I'm but I'm saying the but the actual playoff ranking that's the only thing that really matters. Yeah, but those are based like. Yeah. On where teams start. I mean, start. It, it slots teams in. Yeah. No, for sure. No, it's fair. But I think just the when it comes to actual committee. All that stuff kind of like, goes. Like Ohio State is, would be, I don't know why, they've been given a bone. So if they lose, it's easier for them to get back to the top because they started at the top. Where would you put them? Ohio State, I, I, well, you'll see in my rankings. Okay. <laughs> Guess we'll see. All right, those are the games of the week. We're going to get to some more picks in just a little bit. But now we have a new segment this season. It is the Roback Dog of the Week. Like we mentioned off the top, we are all wearing Roback now. We have wardrobes. We're going to wear it every single season. So am I the only... School that had that, that yeah, I need to get custom? that. That I makes sense. That. No, I mean, do they make it? I don't know. I need I think them too. I think they too. do. I think they need to. If not, they need to for sure. Yep. But you're the only one that got the custom one this, this week. Thing's fire. What would they put on the Wisconsin one? Like a W or the outline? No, they would the do one. the same but state. But this may not be affiliated with the school. Yeah, no, right. it I don't probably think you can isn't. Use right. Yeah, you can't right. use yeah. logos right. or anything. So I don't know what they would do for this thing Mississippi State. It is. It's, it's very nice. We'll, we'll see what they, or they're going to give us. Each week, we're going to have something different. So thank you to Roback for that. So again, new segment, Dog of the Week. We love college football, but we love Roback even more. Best way to describe Roback is the best fit and the best feel. These are incredibly comfortable. We are always decked out in Roback because they simply don't miss the quality, the comfort, the designs like Dave has on him. Everything is undefeated. Use the code FOOTBALL on Roback.com for a generous 20% off your first purchase through the end of this week. That's spelled R-H-O-B-A-C-K.com. That's 20% off all polos, quarter zips, shorts, and hoodies with the code FOOTBALL. So, I wear this every week. Probably should have taken the post-it note off the card. Has my name on it. No, I know. Just to make sure it didn't get it to you. I think it's okay. okay. I think people know this Fair isn't my name. Fair enough. Uh, so face. This, so the, the, yeah, my parents fucked that one up. No, his face. Oh, that's all I said case. Say. No, face. literally. Face. That's face. That's what I thought. Face. <laughs> that's okay. what I was just be like face. Face. Just the way, if he well, says he anything you don't like, just be like face. He was trying to deflect from the face. fact that there was a post-it note. If any dermatologists are watching. Does your face hurt? Because it's killing us. Ooh. Boom. That's not, that's a little much. Yep. There you go. 
So this segment, it can be anything we want. So obviously the easy one would be taking an underdog on the Barcel Sportsbook, or if you want to take just like the dog of the week, you got that dog in them, whatever you guys want to do every week, we are all going to pick one. So I don't know, Brandon, do you want to go first? You've got a smirk on your face or do you not want to go I don't first? have a smirk, but I will yeah. go first. Well, I'm looking at your smirk instead of. Go for it. You're looking at my smirk instead of my face. Is that no. what you're saying? <laughs> the smirk is on my face, Casey. Okay, that okay. Face. Well, you pointed at the sheet and then said face again. Well, I just go. All right. I'm only going to, I'm only going to do this once. I will not do it again. But last year, one of the most egregious and most tragic things that happened to a football team was Mississippi State was screwed by the officials when they played Memphis. They downed a punt, and then Memphis, the officials let them return it for a touchdown. It was bullshit. We get revenge. Mississippi State minus 16 Saturday night, Davis Wade Stadium, Cowbells. Memphis is going to get the shit kicked out of them. Mississippi State minus 16 were the Bulldogs. That's my dog of the week. So you're taking an actual underdog. I was on the wrong side of that debacle. Yeah, it was awful. Yeah, it was awful. It was not fair. It no, wasn't it was right. And we're going to fix it this week. Yeah, you never talk about it either. No, I'm going to talk about it a lot. But this will be the only time I pick Mississippi State for the dog. Okay, so a true underdog from Brandon. Dan? Uh, okay. I, no, 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 I'm saying because like, it wasn't can... an underdog. Huh? Yeah, they're a favorite. I'm, an, I'm also have a favorite, but I have a dog, a dog in a person. Uh, this is a quote from 2019. Jerry Kill going back to Minnesota for the first time. Jerry Kill uh, said in 2019 about P.J. Fleck, he coached with me, but after that he changed a lot. I'll just be honest with you guys. People have known him before. When he got with Shiano, his personality changed a lot, and I knew his first wife, and he changed a bunch. <laughs> I think sometimes ego gets carried away. I just I'm love that still quote. Wow. That means he didn't have relationships. <laughs> yeah, oh, when you say yeah. it like that, yeah. Yeah. but... He, what else could he have meant? It, it, he, he knew her. It's just a great quote, and Jerry Kill is a dog, truly, because he, football has almost killed him a million times with his seizures. Um, they're going to get killed, but he's my dog of the week. He's back. He's, he's coaching. He's fighting for his guys. He might have a seizure. I don't know. <laughs> I love the guy. I mean, he absolutely had relations with her. Who knows? You don't, you don't say that unless It's a hell of a it, quote. Right? It's a hell of well, a quote. Well, I will say, like, he doesn't – well, never mind. Okay. Who's your dog of the week? So uh, this is, I was told about this segment, and it, we can really go any which way we want with it. So uh, I don't know if people saw the clip, but uh, it was an aquarium of some sort, and a sea lion picked uh, Georgia Tech against Clemson. I think a sea lion is the dog of the ocean. Very cute. You want to, like, pet it. Um, just everybody you see a sea lion, like, oh, I wish I had a sea lion. Um, so I, based on that, I will take Georgia Tech plus the points okay. uh, based on the sea lion that is the yes. dog of the ocean. Yep. Sea lions are very cute. You're Shout right. Shout out Paul the Octopus, the OG. He went like 15-0 and 0 in the World Cup, and it was the best run ever. 15-0. Yeah, oh no, it was like he won every single bet, and I just kept on betting with Paul the Octopus. I know we talked about uh, Jim Harbaugh off the top, so I'm going to go the – like you guys are doing like the dog of the week. I'm going to do like the good dog of the week. He was a good boy by using the Bible. No one can talk shit if you use the Bible. So Jim Harbaugh going – Well, I don't know. Is it when you say, though, like I can get biblical? Like the, well, and also like, he did – uh, he, he, like he called out Solomon. He, he, he called actually, out Solomon. He referenced a story. And I feel like Correct. he's going to yeah. cut one of his quarterbacks in half. No, no, no right. he's saying that he's not going to, so he's being right. he's being good. He's saying like Solomon was going to cut the baby in half because right. of the two right. wives I don't thing. know my Solomons from – my like Jimmy's and the Joes, but I only took from that we're gonna go biblical on people, like we're yes. gonna rip your throats out. Well, he but he actually talking meant, about like, his biblical. quarterbacks. No, we're going biblical. Our quarterbacks are going biblical on people. So, I would agree with you. Well, he was talking about the, the Bible, deciding right. between the two. He was talking yeah. about the Old Testament. Well, and I've got one and a half. It, I'm talking about our opponents. Right. Mm. If you say we're going to get biblical on it's somebody, be biblical in scale. That's what, what you're what, saying. What is what? If someone, let's take aside the Harbaugh thing. If someone's like, I'm going to fucking get biblical on yes. this. Yeah, you yes, think you think Michigan, Ohio State. So, so technically, my dog of the week can go both ways. Like he's gonna get aggressive on their ass and kill everybody. And Did you call Harbaugh a good boy? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know. Well, I, again, um, good boy. As a leader of men, he has said uh, anybody who wants, uh, uh, who has a kid that they don't want, the Harbaugh's will take them in. So that's being nice. It's exactly. So he and I, I do think that if you say you're gonna go biblical on their ass and then you actually use the Old Testament as a reason to have two starting quarterbacks. I feel like that's... And again, when someone says they're going to Old Testament, that means you're getting serious. Yeah. Not so it goes that both we're not, ways. Yeah. We're going to cut people in half, not our quarterbacks, other people. I know we're doing game one, game two, but we're going to get very serious. Michigan, by the way, has a very tough first month. If they can get through it, I like how we look. <laughs> 
Okay. What, so, do, wait, wait, oh. what do you think about the quarterback situation where he's starting one in game one and one in game two? I don't hate it. Um, in all seriousness, it's the easiest schedule I can ever recall for Michigan for right. the first month. So see how they both play. Like Hawaii might be the worst team I've ever seen play college football. Yeah, I had them the other day. Uh, really they, they did not look good. They looked like a freshman versus the varsity. Yeah. Vanderbilt putting 62 points on you is never, never good. All right, Brandon, this is another season for your high noon trivia. Yes. And I'm just going to, I don't know, in the past, we've said, are you are Dan and Dave going to try to spoil it? Are they not? I've been told you're very prepared for them not to spoil it. Well, this year. I, I have stopped writing the answers down so Dan can look on the sheet. Okay, that's and a I good I know he's start. already looked. Smart. That's a good so start. So the answers are not One on the sheet. Walker, anymore. Pittman, zero. Yes, exactly. Try the new limited edition High Noon Tailgate 8-pack. It's available only during football season. It has the new flavors, pear and cranberry. I had the pear yesterday, and it's delicious. It's the best-smelling drink I've ever, I've ever smelled. Like it, When you put it up to your mouth, it's fantastic. Available only in the tailgate pack. They also have black cherry and grapefruit in that pack. If you can't find a pack of High Noon, head over to your local liquor store and ask them directly to get some in stock or they're in participating markets. Also, check Drizzly for home delivery. I'm going to have to talk with the High Noon people and see whether we want face delivering the okay. high noon ads. Uh -huh. But face will be better next week. Let's just have it on the record. If you drink high noon, your face will not look like Brandon's. Thank you, Dan. We're gonna be we're gonna be in person next week. People won't be able to see me as close. It'll be better. Or you can just get makeup too. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to the dermatologist. We've done a week. lot to build this brand up and then it's face been very is stressful. Actually, I had to pass it off this year and I mean it is his trivia. Y'all remember it's Big Ev though? When, when Listen, yeah. Brandon. Touche. This happens. <laughs> the, what's happening in your face right now happens to many 14 year old girls. The last two, fixed. The, the two Heisman Trophy winners that garnered the highest percentage of the votes each happened since the year 2000. The two Heisman Trophy winners that got the highest percentage of the vote of all time happened since 2000. One's a Big Ten player, one's an SEC one's player. One's definitely Joe Burrow. Who are they? One's definitely Joe Burrow. One is definitely Joe Burrow, that is correct. That, was, halfway that was like the only Big Ten? Yeah. Ron Dane. Troy Smith. No, he was before 2000. Troy Smith. I did, I did go ahead and make it easy to begin with, just oh, okay. to get on the board. Uh, in 2006, Ohio State quarterback Troy Smith won the Heisman Trophy, and Notre Dame quarterback Brady Quinn, they're playing this week, finished third. Who finished second? Darren McFadden. Third question. I was told that you were making this impossible for No, them. I wanted to make it easy. In the movie Rudy, what number does Rudy wear when he plays one snap against Georgia Tech? I don't know this one. I know the answer. There's, Say it. There's 45. There it is. Speaking of Ohio Sam State. Sam Payton's watching this being like, this guy thinks he's smarter than me. Speaking of Ohio State, in the movie The Replacements, which bowl game does Shane Falco perform so poorly in Sugar that Bowl. His Shut the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even finish it. So four for four. Four. I mean, that, this, I'm going to be honest, we've been doing this for years now. This Those is were, by I mean, far the easiest questions you've asked. I they, was trying to ease letting... into the season, guys. Why did you decide to move into movies? <laughs> Well, I, I was doing Notre Dame, Ohio State questions because that was the game of the week. I thought that was uh, a nice. Right, but I, next week when we're somewhere, I'll, I'll, I'll theme it after the team. Do you have a fifth? Yeah. Notre Dame has won twice against Ohio State. When's the last time they beat Ohio State? There's your question. Good one. High noon, hard, uh, high noon trivia. Hit it online. He's not going to be able to do the ad reads anymore. He's going to get so flustered. So no, I'm not else... flustered. I'm not flustered. I wanted you, you are getting redder. I'm not just saying that. <laughs> I'm stressed, Dave. I, it's been a rough summer. I don't have anywhere to live. I've been on the shore for like two weeks. Uh, the where? The shore. He's living on the beach. Yeah. Like literally yeah. sleeping on and the beach. And people don't recognize him, so he gets very upset about it. Hmm. That's high noon trivia. We'll see you next week. He had to live in Nick Tarani's father's apartment. Okay, I'm not going to make fun of your face anymore then. <laughs> yeah, you are. No, I just, I okay. want it. All right. I'm a man of my word. All right. Let's... I, I will. I know. <laughs> Let's get to another new segment of the year. We're going to go back to Big Ev throughout the season for his section of the year presented by Cheez It. This college football season, we are feeling the cheesiest with Cheez It. I mean, this is. I, whoever awesome. sold this, and I don't know who did, kudos. Because this is long time coming. I, I, yeah. I live. Cheez It is my. Now, I'm a reduced fat guy. We're doing the normal cheeses, but I love them all. So never have I been as excited for a sponsor. The perfect snack. They are very they, delicious. Literally. It's it. They are a great snack. They are 100% real cheese crunch and deliciousness. Real game day hunger with bold, cheesy, crunchy satisfaction. It's the real cheese, which is why they're so delicious. So, Ev, why don't you give us a little uh, idea of what you're going to be doing this season? So, basically, after every live show, I'm going to be going to all the games 
going the making a video in the crowd fans soon section and basically at the end of the year we're going to anoint a trophy to the best fan section in all of college football nice it's gonna be awesome i we're love it very to excited video. to go to all these games yeah. very excited throw it to a little video for a preview a bowl of cheese is great 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 let's go to big f somewhere in the crowd big f who do you got in this game we, the last few years the last few years we've talked about a lot of teams being back we say texas is back they stink miami's back they stink one of the most embarrassing football performances i've ever seen in my life as the saying goes, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Listen, I'm an Ohio State guy, so at the end of the day, I'm a Big Ten guy Ooh. through and through. Ooh. But it's all Washington! Michigan stinks! He's just mad. He's just mad. He's mad. He's mad. He's just mad. He's mad. He's mad. He's All right, it is time for our locks of the week. This year, they are the proper picks presented by proper number 12. Now, last year, and I know Brandon's sitting up higher, which means he's going to start to brag. The standings last year, Brandon did win. He went 11 and 3. Dave went 9 and 5. And then Dan, Ev, and I all went 6 and 8. Not great, pretty abysmal. Uh, we are going to start a new standings this year. I don't know if we want to put anything on the line between each other or not but we can think about that later. But for this year, it is sponsored by Proper Picks, or Proper Number 12, and Ev, I will start with you. All right, Proper Picks presented by Proper Number 12. Rich and smooth, Proper Number 12 Irish Whiskey is a fine blend of golden grain and single malt founded by Conor McGregor. For every bottle sold, a donation is made to support our brave first responder. Shoot your shot of Proper Number 12 Irish Whiskey. Order your bottle of Proper Number 12 Irish Whiskey from Drizzly. Let's get him a teleprompter next time. They said they're working on it. So there he, we go. He will get a teleprompter. But Ev, I'm going to start with you each week, though. What is your proper pick of the week? My proper pick of the week is one of the darlings of last year, Group of Five team. I'm going UTSA Roadrunners plus four and a half at home with Houston coming to town. Ooh, uh, I guess my guy Dana. Dicey game, but uh, UTSA is bringing a lot back. They really just lost Sincere McCormick, the uh, running back. Bring back uh, Frank Harris, the entire receiving core. Did lose a little bit on defense, but I think this is a game they're going to really get up for. Weird spread, too. Only four and a half point dogs at home. Uh, Houston's ranked. I really like UTSA in the spot. I think they're a live uh, underdog. I like plus four and a half and a little sprinkle on the money line, plus 155. All right, Brandon, week one proper pick. All right, so I did go 11 and three, and I won by two games last year. You did. So I just want that to we be. We have already gone over that. Be, okay, just fair mm -hmm. enough. We have uh, already gone over that. I'm going back to a game we've already talked about. My favorite bet of the whole week is Florida, Utah, over 51 and a half. Florida's defense was terrible last year. I don't see in game one, they're facing a, a veteran quarterback in Cam Rising. They have one of the best running backs in the Pac-12, Utah does. They averaged 39 and a half points a game once they changed the quarterback last year. Florida has an exciting young quarterback too. They're going to score points. This is going to be points, points, points. 51 and a half, it's almost, and why is it that low? But I'm going over 51 and a half for Florida and Utah in game one. All right, Dan? Uh, I am going with... North Carolina going to App State. I still can't believe they scheduled a true road game at App State in state. Mm -hmm. uh, over 56, North Carolina, Drake Drake Mays, Drake Mays, the Just future. May. Just May. Drake May, mm -hmm. the future. Uh, very impressive in week one against Florida A&M. What wasn't impressive was their defense. So I think they will give up a lot of points. I think they'll score a lot of points, 56. I have a dumb question. Is he, the, is he related to that May they had in basketball? I believe he is, actually. Really? I, I read that. Sean I think May. There is Katie some, says yes. That was Luke May. Luke May. The white oh, guy. Yes, yes. Sean Mays. No, Luke. Yeah, Sean Mays. No, yeah, that yeah, was yeah. 12 years ago. Yeah, Luke, yeah. Luke May white, Sean May black. Correct. Right. Yes. Sean Mays also hasn't skipped a meal in a while. They won a national title in North Carolina. He's, He's a big boy. boy. He's a big boy. Okay, Dave. Legendary team, 2006, right? No, I think 05, five. I think. 05. Was, that was Illinois. Illinois. Yeah, yeah. D, D Brown. Wisconsin actually played him the toughest in that whole tournament. Only lost by eight. Dave, How about that proper pick of the week? Yeah, I'm looking uh, to the SEC, and I feel like this is a team that uh, I've been on for the last, I don't know, since we've been doing this show, but I like Kentucky. I think they're going to have a good year. Um, this is a night game. I think it's going to be very rowdy. Miami of Ohio going to Kentucky 16 and a half. I think Kentucky wins the game by 30, 40 points. 
Uh, I'm going to go with a, a large spread as well. USC minus 32 against Rice. I mean, Rice is terrible. And I think USC, we've talked a lot about the different teams in the offseason. USC, obviously, at the top of that list with Lincoln Riley and Caleb Williams. I think they are going to try to come out with a huge statement, even though it is against Rice. They're going to try to score as many points, and I think they easily cover that 32. All right, we're going to do something different for the top 10 this year, but we do have a new sponsor for the top 10 as well. So it is officially in 2022, the Hooters top 10. Hooters is the home to the orange zone, the number one spot for watching college or watching football all season long. Come in for our wall to wall screens, ice cold beer, our world famous wings, and of course, the equally famous Hooters girls who will be on the road with us when we're live, by the way. So Brandon, contain yourself. Uh -huh. Be sure to score. The football bundle, which is 16 boneless wings, 15 bone end wings, and curly fries for only $39.99. Come watch all the games at Hooters all season and visit Hooters.com slash football to learn also, more. Also, a little shout out to Hooters. I posted, so it was Barcel's 19th birthday, I believe like Sunday, and I posted the front page. If you notice, Hooters was actually the front page advertiser. Mm -hmm. Issue one, they reached out with their main account, DM. They're like, glad to be with you the whole time. So glad oh, to have them. It. Yeah. Love that. Day, day, one. day, day one. one. Day one, guys. Day one, guys and they'll be on the road with us. So our Hooters top 10, we're doing something different this season. Like I mentioned, we're going to do what like the AP does, the coaches poll. It's a communal top 10. Oh, wow. Which yeah. means we've all done it separately, given it to Katie, and Katie has put it into an equation. Now, this is a fair top 10. No, yeah, totally. exactly. so I, would say, I would say, so was Dave's vote worth four Who points? Who else or besides him this, voted Michigan over Ohio happen? State? I think I might have. Well, that's fair. You want you have yeah. eyeballs and yeah. watched them play last I think year. I the last yeah. year. Well, what do you mean? Hutchinson's in the NFL. Ojabo's in the NFL. But, but that's it might not be just who voted oh, who voted Michigan ahead of Ohio State. Also, is like goes into like yeah, where they, they voted number one. Yeah. I got that. Well, definitely. Yeah. But I'm and, saying, and if like, someone theoretically didn't have Ohio in their top ten at all, that oh, would penalize. Right. Yeah, that would. And I had Ohio State down. lower than two. No integrity. So I had, yeah, I mean. No this integrity. Is, you know what to do different team. about this? You know we, they're a top 10 team. After we submit them, Katie, we need to just have them back. Because I forget what I voted. Mm -hmm. So that way we can, because I didn't even, I didn't have Texas A&M in my top 10. You didn't? Nope. Just even to oh, start the season? Them. I did. Nope. I, I did that on purpose. I didn't yeah. have them there either. I didn't. Where did you have a and M? I have A&M six. Four? Ooh. So I have A&M six I and I have Michigan. I can't remember. I like this. This is to be totally on. Three, four. This is, this, is our, this is our ranking. So this we're the voters. voters. Yeah, so we are the voters. voters. And Correct. we are just shocked when they come up. Yeah. Okay. Yes, and then, I mean, early in the season, it's going to be pretty obvious, like, who did what. I think it's going to get a little bit messy. And normally, no, be when, good. Yeah, this, normally this segment, it's people make fun of, like, one specific top ten. Now it's just ours. So we yeah. have to own it no matter what. Yep. This is, we are the voters. We have our own. And we're the most credible voters, too, I would say. I would agree. All right. So we'll continue to do that. As I mentioned earlier off the top of the show, we are doing something different. I mean, this whole show feels a little bit different other than making fun of Brandon and Ev and A&M and Michigan and the whole thing. But we are going to announce the entire schedule for the road tour. Dan and Dave decided to do nine live shows this nine. year, which is a lot more than we have been doing. We're starting in week two. We are going to Iowa, which Brandon is very Iowa State at about. Iowa. We've yes. now... This is very historic in the mm -hmm. Barstool College football show um, because we have been to Iowa before. This was with the me, uh, Pat McAfee, and um, Julie Stewart Binks oh. um, was crew. There, no audio? there was no audio. We did the whole show. No one told us we had no audio. <laughs> we high fived off the set like, what a great show, starting the tweets so, like nobody could hear us. We, imagine doing an hour show with no audio and nobody, nobody told us. Pete, who I believe was a producer at the time, he just peed down his leg and decided to keep it to himself. <laughs> but the people in the crowd could hear it though, right? Uh, yeah, I guess. I mean, There's it was nobody big. at home. By the way, Iowa, we, Dan and I talked about this earlier. Um, looking at this, are we doing this one by one? Is it like a great big reveal or is it already? They just no, they yeah, just, yeah. yeah. You, so yes. I, I, I'm as excited to go back to Iowa as I am anywhere. I've also never been to LSU, which we're doing week, week wow, eight. Wow, you've never been to LSU? Never been to it's LSU. Be it's the best place it's in the country amazing. for college football. Yep. yep. Old Miss, uh, have you been to Iowa? I have not. Iowa's great. Iowa is an well, awesome remember, game day experience. Iowa hates him. Yes. Yeah, but Iowa's great. Yeah. yeah. I can't wait to go to Iowa. We'll so see. Tennessee's great. We've already been there. Um, Michigan, I'm always excited. Uh, and then those MAC games, Woo. I think those are going to be sneaky, maybe the most fun we have. Bowling Green at Toledo. Dan, I think you're getting the key to the city. I'm getting the key to the city in Toledo. That's actually also a uh, special shout out to the people of Ohio because this is, if you notice, this is, I think, the only state that doesn't have legalized gambling yet, but it's coming mm -hmm. January 1st. We're going to do some pre-registration when we're in Toledo 
And yeah, I'm getting the key to the city. And uh, then Miami of Ohio at Northern Illinois. So two great games. Well, let me uh, ask you a question because games. people already saw it and they're probably confused. Yeah, we can throw it back October up. October 29th, October 29th. We're doing two games in one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so, so here's what that is. And this is a, uh, there is a question mark to the Penn State game because times aren't out. Michigan, if Michigan State, Michigan is early. Mm -hmm. And Penn State, Ohio State at Penn State is late. Right. We will do both. We're doing, doing both. A We're doing, We're doing a double header. We're doing a double That'll be a hell of a day of college football. The action uh, games back to back. It's Tuesday, Wednesday. Mm -hmm. I have requested, and I think I might just be like, I'm demanding. We're all going to get on the bus together and drive to Northern like Illinois that. after yep. the game on Tuesday night. Get some great stool scenes. All of us on the bus overnight. And we fun. have to go to those back. Yeah, no, we I know, but we're getting to, on the and, bus. And we have to, go. like, triple the crowd. Yes, we have to go, we have to enjoy it, and then we get on the bus, and we drive through the night. It will be great. Dan, I, I was just told in my ear that that is happening. So your yes. wish is happening. It's going to be great. I'm so excited for that. I, li I live for Max. About how long of a trip is that? Uh, that's probably Toledo. That's probably about five, six hours. Oh, and you also switch time fine. zones. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's maybe not a bad. little more. And we're also going to be doing a Friday night game at Rutgers, Nebraska Correct. at Rutgers. Yeah, so TJ, shout out TJ who's producing this. No, he's producing Pro Football Show. Mm -hmm. uh, TJ has told me that he got the absolute best dumpster in Piscataway for us to do our show next to. That's great. Yeah. The so. bloom is a little bit off the rose already with Nebraska season being over before it started. Yeah. But whatever. But that you be you couldn't one. expect Nebraska to make it to fucking week six that's for sure tj actually told me too that um he was like i'm gonna get us hooked up for that game i was like would you buy a large pizza to get that yeah. ticket like hooked up yeah so <laughs> yeah the birthplace of college football is you know they always say it's it's i'm excited i make fun of but, Rutgers, but it's all in fun I, I love having them be in the big 10. but speaking of week zero and you mentioned this with nebraska i mean scott frost will be fired by then right so when we go to Rutgers, he probably uh, won't let's even not bury him yet let's, well, let's, let's let some things play out isn't there something in his Oklahoma? like buyout clause yeah, his, it's yeah. like october like go it cuts october him off. he, he half it this year yeah he so unless you think Harbaugh. he's gonna beat oklahoma before that i feel he might no who knows, who knows? <laughs> listen they'll who knows? be they'll be beating oklahoma and then scott frost would be like yeah. what do i got to do now to make sure we lose yeah crazy uh, also, for those, the Barcel Sportsbook uh, week one, here's we got two promos going. Um, the first, create your own three team parlay. Any three team parlay you want, you can't move the, the line. It's going to be a true line uh, and we'll match 25 bucks. So if you bet $25, you get 25 bonus cash. You got to bet that once. So, like, if you bet 25 and 25 goes into your account, you can't cash that out till you bet the 25. The other one for all new first time players who never used Barstool Sportsbook, we will be live in Kansas, by the way, by the time this thing goes. Uh, you can bet anything, 10 cents, and we'll give you 100 bucks bonus cash. Same rules, you got to bet it once. So, you can bet anything. Bet uh, $10, you get 100. Bet 20, get 100. Good free first promo for people. It's, yep. a, it's great. Live in Kansas. And also for people who are going to be, or for people that are watching at home, at the Iowa State Iowa game, or if they're coming to the show, there's a QR code down bottom right there. You can get merch for either the matchup for either school. The showtime will be at 1 p.m. Central, 2 p.m. Eastern. We will be live, so make sure you grab your merch with a QR code below. Or go to so we know what time that game is already. Four Eastern. Four Eastern. Love so, it. Yeah, so three Central, and then our show will be two hours before. So go to store.barstoolsports. Dot com or use the QR code to get the official kickoff for Eastern. Yes. Right. That down. I'm so excited to get back in that bus and just be just, betting everything and just ah. Uh, and before we end the show, better. I know Dave, you tweeted this earlier this week, and I know everybody probably feels this way, especially guys that have been gambling for as long as all of you guys have. You love the board this weekend. I do. Uh, Barcel Pickham. It's about 30 games that I got on there. I'm super excited. Um, super nervous, super app apprehensive. It's like, you know, I don't want to say it's like responsibly going to war, but that's what it feels like. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, well, no, put on your put on your hard hat. Responsibly. How many yep. do you have? 31? I, I have now added, I, I've added since we started this show, I'm now at 32. It's a great. Responsibly going right. to war. It's a great, yes. great. Yeah, you added the over yes. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, responsibly. All right, fun first show in the books, and we are going to send you out with a hype video to get you ready for the 2022 season. Have a great game day, and we'll see you next week in Iowa. Welcome to the Barstool College Football Show. Thank y'all for showing up. Fuck oh Miss. Yeah, let's go, Brando. So did everyone at Michigan State? Are you too stupid to get into Michigan? <laughs> have horrible taste. This sucks. It's all Washington. It's all Wisconsin. It's all Tennessee. Okay. Oh, oh.
One thing to remember when you're gambling on the Barstool Sportsbook app, make sure that you gamble responsibly. Know your odds, know your chances of losing. Gamble responsibly. Nobody wants to end up in a trash can. You can play with Penn National, which is a licensed and regulated operator. Big words. If you have a problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER.